Hello everyone. So today we are going to discuss about how to complete your microbiology syllabus from YouTube or by using YouTube as a platform from where you can get your notes, get your concepts cleared and score good marks. Okay. So this video is for both BAC and MSc students. Okay. So let's start. So about microbiology subject. So when you enter or you get your admission for your first year BSc, right? So the subject is completely new. Okay. So till your 12th grade, you are studying biology. Okay. Where you have a very little introduction about microbes. And now you're completely getting admitted to a course where you are just going to focus on microbes. Okay. So this is not an easy subject. Okay. And it is actually very vast has many sub subjects under it. Okay, so say for uh, BSc, you have history of microbiology, then uh, you have air microbiology, water microbiology, soil microbiology, somewhat you have immunology, okay, then uh, genetics and molecular biology, etc. Okay, so there are many sub subjects under microbiology, it is interdisciplinary subject. Okay, so one needs to do a thorough study and lots of efforts you have to put in to score good okay so not just theory you also have to focus on your practicals okay so starting from your first year you have practicals you have theory you have some assignments some presentations okay and viva first time you encounter your viva is during your first year okay and dissertations is for masters okay so yeah interview after that so for first year or let's say for bsc you have assignments viva presentations theory and practical exam okay so now all of these are um, what i can say parts of your syllabus which you can cover by using youtube and how that's what we are going to see so YouTube is uh, now supporting or you can say there are many channels on YouTube which are in educational field, right? So you find many, many different topics of channels on YouTube, but it is up to you that how to use wisely use your time and YouTube. Okay, so YouTube in educational field was not there in picture, say in five to six year back okay not that famous okay or not that widely used okay so now you will find hundreds and thousands of channel on a single subject okay so there are some channels which are still growing some which have a good um, subscribers and works very well and students like that channel okay so there are few channels and teachers on YouTube but uh, yeah, there were few channels and teachers on YouTube back then, but it was not the feasible option that student knew and they could rely on. Okay, so this is the picture uh, say when I was in my bachelor's and master's completing my microbiology course. Okay, so we had access to internet and um, just online research articles and what our teacher taught or the supplements which we which were provided to us in college okay so students like me we then used to depend on college provided notes and online research articles and websites to make our own notes okay but now the scenario is completely changed right you know that because of the pandemic and all uh, each and every student is now moved completely towards online teaching okay so youtube is one of the best platform that you can use during this condition and you can um, develop the skills of using youtube okay so you have many videos on youtube explaining a single topic right from the theory to practical to animated videos and viva questions okay so uh, for example um, take a topic like endospore okay or endospore staining you will find many many videos on this particular single topic 
so now it's up to you that which video you have to follow which channel or which teacher you have to follow okay make good use of that video get your notes done okay understand the concept okay so students make a wise use of it now how to start okay so as i i said that uh, there are too many videos on a single topic or there are too many channels on youtube okay so how to select or on which channel on on which teacher you should rely on okay so start watching four to five videos on a same topic but which are taught by different teachers or which are there on different youtube channels okay then you have to screen all those videos and you have to select one teacher or one channel whose teaching and notes you find easy and helpful okay so now i also have a youtube channel here and i am uh, uploading this video on my channel okay so so that this can help you out but i'm not here uh, telling you that yes you have to follow my channel or you will find my videos uh, most interesting or most helpful it depends on student okay it will differ from student to student so you have to uh, see how much quickly or how easily you can understand the concept how the notes are are they useful can you remember what is the language that the teacher is using is it easy or not okay so now the notes can be just supplementary okay uh, even on a channel you will find that the notes are just supplementary that means just okay to understand the topic so in such cases you need to find notes on other channels or on other internet platforms okay so you cannot in this case you cannot rely on that particular teacher or that channel okay you need to take some extra effort to find notes on other channels or other internet platforms okay so next is at least you have to give 2 hours per day for studying from youtube as it it requires time investment in watching lots of video and then deciding which one to follow now why i am saying that you have to watch at least 4 to 5 videos for a single topic because you get different types of questions on a single topic right for example uh, say you have um, bio fertilizers topic from applied microbiology so you can get different types of questions okay so now in bio fertilizers you have micro mycorrhiza as a completely different uh, group of microbe or fungi which we use okay so you can get a question on write a short note on mycorrhiza as a bio fertilizer or in case of practical or by the practical point of view what are the applications what are the advantages what are the disadvantages so you should find a video good enough to give you all these points or it should answer all your questions related to that particular topic okay so for complete understanding okay you have to watch the video twice and you can opt for animated videos depends on the topic so in case of molecular biology we are just reading the theory and listening to a explanation by a teacher is not sufficient you need some animated videos to imagine what is going on how the rna polymerase works okay how translation or trans, uh, transcription happens okay so for that you need animated videos correct so you have these options also present on youtube but this depends on your topic as well so next is you have to make your own handwritten notes as uh, many times i have given stress on this point that you have to make your own handwritten notes as they are what which are going to help you at your 11th hour okay means uh, for example you have um, exam in half an hour and you think that you are blank for uh, some topic okay some xyz topic you are completely blank now you cannot go on youtube and search for two three videos and watch them if you have your handwritten notes ready you can just refer those and get your mark scored properly okay so that's the reason why your handwritten own handwritten notes will help you okay so there is a difference when a teacher provides you note and when you make your handwritten notes 
okay the way of writing is different the way of uh, making short notes is different for each and every person so what your professor or your teacher has written you may find it difficult to understand or remember so that's the reason you should have your own handwritten notes okay not just notes on a topic you should be ready with notes on likely asked questions and their answers as well okay so in my other videos i had already explained this that how to prepare even on in case of viva questions you have to think that what kind of question i can get on this topic and be ready with their answers this will help you at the time of your exam to revise fast okay so now in case of practicals so we have uh, seen uh, or we have completed how to study the theory part now how to study your practicals so in case of practicals you have some videos on youtube which do or which uh, demonstrate directly the practical and there are other videos who don't have the or the channels or the teachers who don't have the access to practicals sorry the labs so they just give explanation for example me as i am now at home i don't have access to a lab i try to explain by using uh, pictures okay so there are two types of videos which you can find on youtube so you can or i will suggest that you should uh, listen watch both these types of videos to get more clarity okay so even you can find good videos on viva questions then spotting in practical because you have this um, part in your practical exam and then general representation that is also important so you will find different videos on all these topics okay then comes the dissertation then presentation okay how to give a short presentation in your classroom okay or if you are representing your college at a national level symposium then how to prepare on that okay different different videos are there so it's up to you how to use it so searching keywords will give you good results so what you type in the search box that also is very important because that is what is going to give you good results okay so you have to use different combinations of words for example if you want to watch a video on gram staining there are three to four different types of combinations that i can think of and i can search for first is gram stain then gram staining grams method for staining your bacterial gram staining different staining methods etc right because even in different staining methods gram staining is covered okay so this was about how to study for your practicals and theory now few videos to name from my channel which will help you are uh, listed here first is how to prepare for your microbiology practical exam a separate video is uploaded then how to prepare for microbiology viva exam a separate video is uploaded then there are different videos on different topics for viva okay you can also um get an idea that what kind of questions a uh, examiner can throw at you even videos on interview are uploaded then spotters in microbiology practical preparing for interview and way i studied for my microbiology exam okay so this is all about how you can study you can complete your whole microbiology syllabus by using youtube okay so i hope you make a good use of youtube and all the best for your upcoming exams so like share and subscribe to my channel and do share these videos with your friends and do recommend them to subscribe to my channel thank you